Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video, we will be learning how to use split lines. Split lines can be found under the Mold Tools toolbar at the top, and split line is right there. If you don't have this toolbar, right click any of the tabs, and you will have a drop down for Mold Tools. Alternatively, click Insert, and if you go under Curve right here, the top option will be for split line. A split line can do a silhouette intersection or projection, and today we will go over projections, which is projecting a sketch onto a face, which will be really useful for cuts, extrusions, lofts, sweeps, and other features. So if we show the top plane right here, you can see that the top plane bisects those outer cylinders and the inner ones too. So we will be creating a sketch on the top plane, and I will be making a rectangle right here and just give it some quick dimensions. Let's make it 100 millimeters tall, um, 75 millimeters from the bottom, and let's make this 175 millimeters wide. Finally, to fully define it, let's take the origin and make it coincident with that back line. Now the rectangle is fully defined. Now, we have the faces right here to project the sketch onto. So go to Mold Tool, click Split Line, and first we choose the sketch to project because we are doing projection under type of split. So select the sketch, and now we want to select the faces to split. And remember, this is not selecting a body, it's not selecting a feature, it is a specific face. So let's click this face, and when we click the check mark, you can see that we now have this sketch in. If I go up here, I can show the shaded with edges model and it will be more apparent. So now we have three distinct sections, but only on this face. So if we edit the split line feature, go back to this box, we can add all the other faces like this. And let's confirm it. And now we are ready to use these for lofts and sweeps, which are especially useful with the split line tool. And you can also apply different appearances to each of the individual faces. I hope you found the SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at Go Engineer.